you today, not to knit, but to crochet. So I've been seeing more and more projects recently in crochet that have drawn my interest, um, particularly blankets. I have never successfully knit a full size blanket. Um, and the small blankets that I've knit, like for my kids, uh, I didn't finish until years after they stopped being babies. So, um, as I understand it, crochet moves more quickly, hopefully. Uh, so I'm hoping maybe it's, uh, it's the key to actually finishing some blankets. We'll see. Um, and in particular, I have this blanket on my make nine for the year. Um, so I need to learn to crochet. As of this very moment, I can make a chain and that is it. I cannot do any more. I have read through a fair number of crochet patterns um, in the course of translating and so I understand the general um, language. I don't have it memorized like I do with knitting, but I do um, recognize a lot of the terminology and understand sort of basically what I'm supposed to do. Um, but I have not actually done it. So I purchased a set of, uh, frankly, quite cheap crochet hooks from Knit Picks, uh, because I don't know if this is going to stick. Um, and I didn't want to invest a lot of money in a, a top of the line set of crochet hooks that are going to end up sitting around. Um, so I got a set that stretches from a two millimeter up to a six millimeter, which is the J. I believe the J is what's used for that blanket. I will double check. So I hope you will join me on my learning to crochet journey. Um, I'm going to do at least one video <laughs> um, showcasing me attempting to learn to crochet. We'll see if that's the only one uh, or if I will, will continue to uh, let you join in on my confused attempts to learn this new craft. Let's get started. All right, so one of the things I'm hoping to do with crochet is to use up some yarns I have that are a bit um, unloved. So for example, I bought a whole bunch of this, Andes del Campo from Knit Picks a few years ago, um, thinking that it would be good for sweaters. But um, it's a little too rustic for me and it's also, you can see, um, pretty loosely plied, which just really doesn't work as well for sweaters. So loosely plied yarns have their uses, but for sweaters, you really uh, want something that is a little bit sturdier. Uh, so I have a whole bunch of this. I've got like <laughs> sweater quantities in three different colors. So I'm hoping I've got this and this, which maybe will go into my, um, make nine blanket. The other one is like a, it's called cilantro heather. It's like a brownish green that really, I don't think is what I'm going to use, but that's a start. So I'm going to just practice with this. And it says, um, use an I through a K hook. So, uh, since I am new at this, I'm thinking probably I'm going to be crocheting pretty tightly. So I decided to just go with the J hook and I'm just going to get started. Uh, by doing the one thing I know how to do, which is making a chain, if I can remember how to do it. Let's see what happens. I have successfully chained one stitch, I think. Okay, I got a little chain. Now I'm going to try to learn single crochet. I'm on a website that's called easycrochet.com, so... I don't know, seems like as good a choice as any. I'm at the, I still have a stitch on my hook. Do I just like turn and go back the other way? I don't know. Um, that's what I'm gonna do. Insert the crochet hook from front to back in the center of the second chain from the hook. So the top of the chain looks like this. So I feel like maybe I'm supposed to turn it over because on the opposite side are all these little bumpies. 
and it seems like that would be a good place to insert the hook. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And it says the second chain. Is that this one? Mm. Oh, maybe that's not right. Because if I'm going from front to back, this is more like from side to side. So maybe, probably this would be a good time to watch a video. I'm gonna do that. One eternity later. Okay, so <laughs> I have learned that you do work into the little V shapes. Um, but I seem to have messed this up. So I'm just gonna undo that and try it again. So I need to work into the second chain stitch. So I put the crochet hook through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over again and pull it through both of those loops. But somehow that's called single crochet. Okay, let's just keep going. See, I just want to automatically pull it through both loops. So it's a little counterintuitive to just pull it through the first loop and then yarn over again to pull it through both. That seems weird to me. 2,000 years later. Okay, so it looks like something. All right, so when I get to here and I have two loops and I need to pull it through both, Having a hard time getting the hook to go through the first loop without snagging it. Okay, but we made it. It looked a lot better kind of at the beginning of the row. Seems to have gotten, come on, focus. Seems to have gotten looser toward the end. All right, now we're at the end of the row, so let's find out what we're supposed to do. So it turns out when you get to the end of the row, Whoops, you're supposed to chain one. Doesn't that change your stitch count? I don't, whatever. I'm just gonna follow the directions and then just do another row of the single crochet across. See, this seems more intuitive to me because now I'm inserting the crochet hook into the little Vs rather than just one side of a stitch. Okay, let's see how we do. I still want to hold the yarn in my right hand, but that's not right. I wonder if it's easier to learn to crochet if you knit continental style. I insert the hook into the V. And then I put the yarn around the hook and pull it through and then I yarn around the hook again and pull it through both loops. Okay. How's it going? How's this look? I mean it looks like something. I don't know. So I feel like every time I have to do another stitch. I'm losing the tension in my yarn. I guess that's something you get better at over time, maybe. Okay, I've almost worked all the way back across this row. So now I'm getting to the end and I can't <laughs> hold the thing, hold the piece and tension the yarn and I don't know what I'm doing. That's the point of this video, isn't it? Okay. All right, I got to the end of the row. Is it supposed to be like curling up? I don't know. That is what it's doing. But, I mean, it looks like crochet, so that's something. 
Okay, it's a new day and uh, I'm doing pretty well. So uh, this is not the first <laughs> swatch that I did. Um, I did rip that out. It was pretty bulletproof. Um, and I started again and uh, it's going. Um, it still certainly seems pretty tight, but um, it looks more or less like it's supposed to. And my tension is slowly getting more even. So this is all single crochet. And now I'm gonna try to learn what double crochet is. Ads on YouTube are out of control. Okay, so it looks like we don't work into the first chain, we work into the second one but we yarn over before we insert the hook. Hmm. All right, so then do we, and then we end up with three loops, is that it? I don't know, because I was stuck with an ad. <laughs> First we yarn over my hook, then insert the hook into the next stitch, pull through. So now I've got three loops on my hook, then I yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops again. Okay, sure, why not? So this, I guess, is more of a um, open because you're adding that extra yarn over in there. So that makes sense that you're getting a more open camera. Just really, <laughs> camera doesn't know what to focus on, but you're getting that more open. Okay. And then I think I recall that at the end of the row, instead of chaining one to turn, you chain two. I'm going to watch my video some more here. <laughs> time tensioning when I get to the end of the, the row. Something about trying to hold my work and tension my yarn. I don't know, it just gets too complicated. Okay, I got to the end of the row and I know I chain two instead of just one. And then we don't work into the chain, we work into the first Ditch, which I guess is this one. Hey, look at that. Two rows of double crochet. All right, so um, some final thoughts on crochet. As a knitter who up until two days ago had never done anything other than make a chain for a provisional cast on. Um, I like it and that similar to knitting, it's very... Um, meditative and that it's a lot of repetitive motion that you can kind of um, get a little bit lost in and and once you get into a rhythm um, probably you're going to build up the same kind of muscle memory with knitting you'll be able to do it while you know maybe watching tv or listening to podcasts and things like that um, the single crochet fabric is really dense um, i like the double crochet fabric a little bit more Obviously, I still have a lot more to learn, but for now, I'm gonna just be sticking with practicing those two. Um, I just got a set of cheap crochet hooks from Knit Picks, and this is what they have. I can see how having the rubberized handle would be helpful, but I feel like the hook part could be a little bit longer. Um, Maybe that's just something as, as someone who is new to this, I need a little bit more space on my hook to maneuver. It's not the end of the world. Um, and like I said, maybe that's just because I'm, I'm just trying this for the first time. But I would think, you know, still having the rubberized handle, but maybe having just a little bit more hook space might be helpful. I can definitely see that this is, even though I am slow um, as, a, as a new 
a new crow hooker, <laughs> um, I can see that it's using a lot more yarn. I'm having to pull out yarn much more quickly than I would knitting a swatch of this same size, um, which, you know, depending on what your goals are, maybe is not good. But for me, I'd really like to use up some stash yarn that has just been um, gathering dust that I don't want to use for sweaters for whatever reason. I don't think it's right for sweaters. Um, and I talked about this a little bit in the beginning of the video and showed you guys one yarn in particular. Um, so I think that using up that, that yarn, extra yarn, um, is, is probably a good thing to help me work through some of this yarn that's just taking up space and could be put to good, better use, um, in some blankets in my house that I would like to have. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to keep, keep going with it. Keep practicing. Um, I have definitely been enjoying it. It is always nice to try something new. Um, it's, you know, it's always cha challenging to try something new and to remember that it's okay to not be good at it for a little bit. I am enjoying it more than I thought I would. And, uh, I think I will keep going with it. So if you are, um, a knitter who's maybe been considering uh, looking into crochet. I think um, some of sort of the general fiber yarn knowledge is going to come in handy. I think the general notion of maneuvering yarn and manipulating it with a tool that you the, that skill that you already have from knitting is going to come in handy. Um, and definitely you will have to be patient because it's, it's very different, especially if you are a, um, a thrower because you're used to holding the yarn in your right hand, having the yarn in your left hand, uh, is, is definitely going to be different, but, uh, I'm having, I'm having more fun with it than I thought I would. And I'm definitely going to keep going with it. And all of those granny square patterns that I have been eyeing up, uh, I'm going to be coming for them. Probably not, you know, tomorrow, but they're, they're in, they're still in my mind and I can, I'm screwing this up and I can definitely see myself, um, picking up steam with this and being ready to try some of those, uh, projects maybe a little bit later this year. Thanks for joining me for my inaugural journey into crochet. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you will uh, give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to the Made It Better One and Its channel. I have lots of other great content here, vlogs, podcasts, knitting tutorials. If you are into the fiber arts at all, I hope you will come back and check out some other videos uh, and I will see you in a new video next week. Bye.